I would hope that if it were mine, there was somebody that would do it for me. In the early hours of April 20th, a fire in a unit of a duplex on Indian Head Drive near the intersection of East Breaker Lane broke out. Neighbor Sam McCall's son was coming home at that very moment and alerted his dad to the flames. The two then rushed over to try to let people in the duplex know there's a fire. My son was standing near the front door and heard some yelping and I just it's all kind of a blur, but I heard my son say, Dad, there's dogs. As the duplex went up in flames, without hesitation, McCall's son kicked down the door. There, they found three dogs, Roscoe, Loki, and Balder. Roscoe was already in shock and just dead weight on the floor blocking the door. Um, so I got the door open and tried to get inside to pick up Roscoe, um, but the ceiling was already coming down, like flaming chunks of ceiling one of those pieces or two landed on him. Roscoe suffered second degree burns while all three suffered from smoke inhalation. Immediately after rescuing the dogs, McCall called his friend Elizabeth Carner over for help, who humbly doesn't want any credit for what she's done for them and asked that we don't show her face. I immediately called veterinary emergency group, told them the situation. They said, come on in and we rushed over there and that's where they stayed until Sunday. McCall has five dogs, including one foster of his own, and Carner has six. Still, the two stepped up to care for the dogs that are currently staying at McCall's house. Knowing how much Eric loved his dogs, it was literally not even a question for us to help them. A GoFundMe page was created to help pay for the dog's medical bills. That page has raised more than $7,000. While by all accounts, the three look like they're doing well, Connor says it's clear they miss their dad. Everywhere Roscoe would go, he was looking for dad. Um, we went to a new building. It didn't matter who was in the building. He searched look for dad. Carner and McCall say they are hoping to find a forever home for all three dogs to be kept together and that's looking more promising. We do have a long-term plan in place that we are currently exploring um, and where all three will be able to be together. In North Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.